IIT Delhi, uh, if you are joining a PhD program after B.Tech, Mm-hmm. Then in my department, in mechan- like uh, the process varies from department to department in IIT Delhi. So mm-hmm. in mechanical engineering department, especially after if you are joining PhD after your BTEC, then you need to complete 20 credit course. All right. Mm-hmm. Normally, if you are joining after MTech, then you need to uh, you need to appear for 12 credit course. But mm-hmm. after BTEC, uh, it is 20 credit course. So this 20 credit course means approximately that will be five or six courses. Or okay. five four credit course, or uh, you can opt for six, uh, like a combination of three credit or four credit cards uh, like that. So I opted for five courses for two semesters. Mm-hmm. So in the first semester I opted for three courses, that is twelve semester uh, twelve credits, and in the next semester I opted for two courses, and that is a uh, four plus four uh, again eight credits. Mm-hmm. So this total goes to twenty credits. Apart from that, all the PhD students have to select a course. That is the English le- English course. Like that is a like, that is a course that like where you learn how to write a paper, mm-hmm. how to communicate with someone. So every mm-hmm. uh, like this is a English based course basically. So that you need to just pass. There is no mm-hmm. grading requirement. You need to just, like there is a pass or fail type of thing. So these are the requirements. So after you finish your coursework, then uh, within 1.5 years of your admission, mm-hmm. you need to appear for a comprehensive examination. Okay. So in my department, the criteria is that for the comprehensive uh, examination, first you will be again uh, writing a written examination. Mm-hmm. The question paper will be set by your supervisor. Mm-hmm. That may be, uh, and the content may be based on your research or maybe based on your past courses or your BTEC level courses. And uh, the paper will be graded by the supervisor and the mm-hmm. mark will be sent to the department. Uh, after you pass this written examination, then uh, there will be a presentation. So you need okay. to present your research proposal or whatever you have done in the one last 1.5 years or one year mm-hmm. to the to your research committee. Basically, in IIT Delhi, every student will have a separate research committee comprising mm-hmm. of around three to four professors. Okay. So in my uh, in my department, I have two supervisors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have uh, I have two more uh, professors uh, who are in my committee from my department. And one more uh, professor from another department. So okay. there are basically five members in my committee. Those will be evaluating my research proposal throughout my PhD. Okay. So after uh, the uh, research, uh, research proposal presentation, it is the comprehensive examination. Then uh, the committee will recommend that yes, the candidate is fit to do mm-hmm. research in IIT Delhi. And after that, you can start. Okay. Or so you can continue. Basically, in uh, first one one and a half year, you won't be starting any research activities, as such. For the first one year, uh, if you are joining after PhD, uh, after BTEC, uh, mm-hmm. like you cannot uh, do the research because the course work is very heavy here. Okay. Like even if you are opting for two credit or two courses in a semester, mm-hmm. but uh, you have to put like so much effort uh, to get a good grade. Okay. So yeah, uh, for the first one year, I just did a preliminary review sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And I just started some coding and related things, but uh, that is not up to the mark. Okay. But after uh, my first year, I got six months. Mm-hmm. So in that six months, I continued my research. And uh, by the comprehensive examination, um, I was prepared with one manuscript. So okay. that manuscript actually helped me to pass the comprehensive examination because that manuscript was like, uh, was like, I uh, I prepared one patent based on that manuscript and also uh, a manuscript uh, for submitting to a journal. Okay. So these two aspects helped me in dealing with my comprehensive research.